Hello everyone, Will here from Mature Minded Gamers, and we are going to be continuing our champion spotlight for Super Fantasy Brawl from Mythic Games. We're taking a look at this game on Tabletopia, an amazing platform for a whole bunch of different board games. Uh, a Super Fantasy Brawl should be out in third quarter of 2020, at least as long as everything is still going to plan. Got a whole bunch of different champions, and today we are going to be focusing on Aket's Light of Creation. Now, I would love to see what everybody thinks about this champion, who you partner him up with, what kind of combos you think are the best ones. So, if you see anything different than what you uh, when I talk about it, as far as like what you would want to see or which how you would use it, let me know in the comments section. Hit that like and subscribe button. We do have a lot of great content from not only board games and video games, but a whole bunch more. So hit that like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to us. But all right, on to Aket, Light of Creation, a great, fantastic looking Phoenix style character. I absolutely love the coloring. I love the art design on this character. Um, Johannes Eggleston did just get an amazing job. One armor, seven health. Um, kind of run of the mill, decent. Yeah, has the armor. I'm su actually kind of surprised he has armor at all, seeing as how he's a bird. Uh, you know, when you think about some of these other champions, where they, you know, if they get hit, maybe they would actually be able to carry armor. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure why Aket would have the armor, but hey, it is what it is. With seven health, we'll take it. All right. So when Aket levels up, we do see a boost in health, no boost in armor. We do have an added ability of during an Aket attack activation, you may discard any number of these red symbol, which is destruction cards from your hand. The attack gains plus one power for each card discarded. So you would really have to have several of those in your hand to really make that worthwhile. Got to be careful about when you play the cards, though. All right, so first up, let's go ahead and take a look at the first card here of a skill card called Inner Fire. Gives three movement. Return a destruction card from your discard pile to your hand. That could be helpful, especially with his level up ability. Aket's attacks gain plus one power until the end of the turn. Okay. So not only are we going to be able to return a red card for leveled up, well, we use this card. So you get plus one power until the end of the turn. Well, this one lets you, when you discard it, gain another plus one power. So if you draw one out of the discard pile, then play it. You're going to have plus two if you play it Inner Fire. Well, that's pretty awesome. All right, so let's take a look at the next card. It is an attack card called Wingstorm. It gives one movement, a uh, hex line of two with only one attack power. Pushing two, that could be pretty useful, especially if they're either already up against the wall or you just need to push them out of a specific zone. Now, if you also had kind of powered this up with Inner Fire, that could be Power 2. And if you discarded another red card from your hand, it doesn't even have to be a cat, so it could be any destruction card, then that could even be boosted up even more. So you're already playing this red card. It's not like you're going to be able to use any more red cards that are in your hand. So if you pulled one, played this, discarded it, and that's an extra two. That's three power right there. Plus, if you're pushing against the wall, that's two more damage. That's five damage just on one card. Pretty nasty little combo if you get them in the right spots. All right, on to the next. We've got Take Flight, a skill card. Oh, my gosh. I love, love this card. It's like this huge, huge dive coming down. Swooping four. Place the first champion swoop through adjacent to Aket. Now, notice it says first champion. Not enemy champion, not friendly champion. Just friend, It just says first champion. So it's a great way that if you need to move an enemy out of a certain position, or you need to move one of your characters out of position. Noticing, though, the skill card has no movement in and of itself, so you've got to be in the position first before you even think about getting this card played. All right, next up, we do have another skill card. This one is called Healing Tears. It does give two movement on this one, Healing 2. You may discard a blue or manipulation card from your hand to heal an adjacent ally instead. Ooh, man, you're going to have to be discarding cards to be able to, to make this card worthwhile. I mean, just to heal an ally. Oh, man, I kind of wish this was just healed too and you could use it uh, to heal an adjacent ally. Because it's already got a kind of a, a specific. They've got to be adjacent. I, mean, I know it's not in and of itself a cost, but that's going to be hard to pull off all the time. All right, and we do have the red reaction card. So the first card in the destruction was... 
the attack, the second destruction card in for Aquette is a reaction. It's called From the Ashes. After the attack, if the target was taken out of action by the attack, place them adjacent to the attacker instead of on their gate. So they were still considered taken out of action. The enemies could still uh, get their victory point, but you don't have to start them on the gate and don't have to spend a movement to bring them back out. They just, bam, they're right on the border again, already ready to deal some problems and can be placed adjacent to the attacker, which could be big because then you could place them either on a uh, scoring zone or trying to prevent uh, you know, capitalization or um, you know more the, the overage, the control, the total control of a zone. That could be helpful too. So um, I like this card. It was, it was definitely played against me when I took out Aquette. And it took me a while to take him out because he's got that one armor, but uh, was able to do it. Brought this card back into play. Now, when he did get taken out, he did flip down back over to his regular side. So, uh, you know, nothing kind of fishy going on. But it was, I, I kind of wish he was he maybe like taken the taken out. Maybe he came back in bloodied. I think would be pretty cool. But uh, we kind of get it though. Rise from the ashes, based like a phoenix. All right, last and certainly not least for Aquette, we are looking at an attack card called Death from Above. It is uh, before the attack a swoop three, so you can be able to swoop in a hex line for three, and then do a three uh, three place attack here with the with the positioning being very important, and doing two power attack. So basically hitting hopefully three champions for two power to each. That could cause a little bit of a ruckus. I like the art of this card. I think this is um, you know it, the problem with with Alket that I've kind of seen is you really only have swoops as far as like on, on these two cards right here. And these two cards, you know, don't really give you too much movement. This is really his main movement card, but it really doesn't do much except for the fact that you can return a red card from your hand. Yes, that can be advantageous to be able to pull back, you know, like Wingstorm, in it, but, you know, you kind of get a little combo of being able to pull cards back. But I don't know. I, I like Aquette. I, I want to love him. I like him. I want him to be like my favorite character because I love how he looks. I love the thought of this awesome looking Phoenix, you know, just being this awesome, awesome character. And he didn't turn out that way. He, he doesn't hit hard enough guaranteed without being able to have too many specific cards out. He really doesn't do any one thing fantastic that I've been able to see. Please prove me wrong. Please show me what I'm missing here with Aquette. Um, I don't want to have to play two or three cards that I don't necessarily know if I'm going to have in my hand to be able to do the things I want to do. I mean, I know he's got great cards like Inner Fire to be able to pull cards out, but oh, please hit that, that uh, comment button and, and type some hit some comments or you know what even hit me up on discord let's talk about it let's let's just talk about him over a game of super fantasy brawl where i try him out against you and you can kind of give me some pointers i'd love that so uh i do look forward to uh to talking to you guys more about super fantasy brawl please hit that like and subscribe button join me on discord and i hope to see you all at the table take care everybody